Hello YouTube and uh, welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to uh, take a look at 15 examples of the find command. So the, uh, the basic usage, usage of the find command is uh, to find uh, files and directories within your computer. So I'm going to say find in the current directory that's represented by the dot. And I'm going to say name followed by the file name I'm looking for. In this case I'm going to say file1.txt and that is going to give me three different file1.txt, they are in different directories, directory 1, 2, and 3. I can say also uh, find type f, which is for files. I'm only interested in finding files. And I can say, instead of name, I could say iname. In this case, the iname option ignores case sensitive. So I'm going to, instead of file1, I want to find anything using the wildcard anything.txt so I'm only looking for any text file so I'm going to press enter and that will give me a bunch of different text files but they're all text so that was example 1 and 2 for example 3 I can look up files in the di multiple directories at the same time so I could say find in directory 1, directory 2 um, file I actually type files I name anything that uh, let's say sh and I'm going to press enter and it's going to give me all the uh, .sh file and uh, for the fourth example let's say I want to find uh, two types of files in this case I want to find uh, jpg files and mp3 so I'm going to say find if I can type here um, type files by name anything with the extension of jpg and the uh, define command supports uh, logical operations so I'm going to use the minus o option and I'm going to say i name anything that mp3 so basically I'm looking for anything that jpg or anything that mp3 so I'm going to press enter and it's going to give me all the M either mp3 actually mp3s uh, or uh, JPG files. For the fifth example, we are going to display any file that was created uh, within the last 24 hours. So I'm going to say find here, type files, end time, anything that is newer than one day. So I'm going to press enter, and that's all the files newer than one day. If I wanted to display all the files older than one day, I can say plus plus one that is going to give me all the files that are you know they, that were created uh, before the last 24 hours for the sixth example we can do um, a logical operation for finding files uh, that are older than one day and newer than 10 days so we can say like for example find uh, in the current directory type files end time older than one day and a logical operation end time newer than 10 so I'm going to press enter and those are the files that are older than one day and newer than 10 days for the seven example I want to display all the files that are newer than a specific file uh, let's say for example that I want to display all the files that are newer than uh, directory 3 file1.txt so I could say something like find here um, type files newer than directory 3 file1.txt and uh, that's all the files that are newer than, than that file so this command is really helpful especially if you want to perform an incremental backup and you have already a backup created so you can use the latest backup as an option to create uh, an incremental backup of the files that you know were created since the last backup so for the for the eighth example uh, let's say I want to display all the files but mp3 files so I'm going to say find here type files I name mp3 files 
So this command is going to display the MP all the MP3 files, but I'm looking to display everything but the MP3 files. So I'm going to place a NAT condition in front of the iName. So basically what it's going to do is going to negate um, this uh, expression right here. So I'm going to press enter and it's going to display everything but MP3 files. So that's a cool one. That's a really good one. Uh, the night example is also a very cool one. Let's say I want to find all the text files and remove them. I completely remove them from the computer. So I could say find here, type file, I name anything that txt. And I'm going to use an option uh, that the find command has, which is the exec option. And this option allows you to use uh, another command and this command will act, will act on the output of the find command. So I'm going to remove, use the rm command, and I'm going to use the placeholder, followed by the backscape uh, and the semicolon. Basically, what it's, this means is that uh, the placeholder is a, a symbol for all, all the output of the find command uh, be passed into the remove command. So I'm going to press enter. So now if I do ls minus r, Notice that I no longer have any text file within my uh, three directories. The tenth example is actually one of my favorites. Um, I'm going to, for this one, I'm going to cd into my home directory. And uh, this find command will allow me to find any file that, I, that is bigger than a specific uh, size. So let's say I want to find all the files that are bigger than one gigabyte. So this is useful in the case that your hard drive is uh, growing out of proportion and you want to find those files that, you know, uh, are growing and, you know, making, uh, o occupying all the hard drives. So I could say find uh, anything here, size larger than one gig. And I'm going to press enter. I'm going to pause for a second. And as you can see, I have uh, some ISO files, some .vdi files, which is a, um, that's the extension of um, VirtualBox, uh, ISO files, and some IMG files from Android SDK. So these files, the VDI files are hard drive images, and the IMG are Android phone images. So these files are you know, very likely to be more than one gig in size. So this command is another very useful command uh, to find those files that, you know, that are huge or large, large files. The next example, um, it's, uh, let's say I want to change permission on a bunch of files. This is kind of similar to uh, an example that we already saw. Let's say I want to find uh, in the current directory type, type files, and I'm looking to find anything that um, contain that the uh, sh extension, and I want to change the permission of those files to uh, let's say um, read, write, and execute, which is not a very good idea. But uh, for the sake of this, uh, for the sake of this tutorial, uh, so I'm going to say shemat, and I'm going to provide the permission. I'm going to give the placeholder backspace backslash and close the uh, statement. I'm going to press enter. So now if I do uh, ls. Uh, to display the permission of those files, now you can see the data search file contain read, write, and execute for everyone. So I'm going to the next example. It's a very cool option that the find command has to search for a string or text within a file anywhere in your in your um, directory three. So let's say I want to search for the string "hello world" in any file. So I'm going to say find here. Um, I name any text file, and I'm looking to find the string hello world. So I'm going to use the exec command along with the grab command, and I'm going to pass the string that I'm looking for, in this case, hello world, with the options IL to ignore case and yeah, the L option to display the path, and I'm going to placeholder and close the statement so I'm going to press enter and of course it, it cannot find anything because there is no uh, hello world within 
a text file. So I'm going to create that file. So I'm going to say echo hello world inside file one, actually inside the one file one dot txt. I'm going to execute the previous command again, and this time we got the uh, the text the file one dot txt uh, as the file containing the the string. For the 14 example, let's say I want to back up the content of the of directory one and two, and create a tar gzip file using the content of the, those two directories. So I could say um, I name. I'm going to back up only the picture. So I'm going to say anything that JPG execute. Actually, I want to pipe that into the XR command. The XR command is a command that acts on the output of the previous command using pipe. So I'm going to do XR tar cbzf my backup that tar that gzip and I'm going to close the statement. So I'm going to press enter. So now if I want to see the content of the backup, so I can say tar that tf my backup and as you can see I've only backed up jpg files into my backup so now let's say I want to make an incremental backup from any files that is newer or any picture that is newer than these pictures that I have already backed up so I can say uh, let me create first this picture so I'm going to do tosh uh, did one file, let's say 5 to 10 dot jpg and I'm going to press enter. So I'm going to, now I'm going to cre create an incremental backup of any file that is newer than the previous backup. So I'm going to recall the previous command, the previous find command and instead of doing, I want to say newer than my backup my backup that tar that gc so i'm going to press enter actually i want to change the name of the backup otherwise i'm going to override the backup so i can let's say increment backup and i'm going to press enter notice now that only uh, directory one file five through ten were backed up so if i do tar tf incremental only files that uh, jpg from 5 to 10 in directory once which was which were the one that i created and so that's it i hope this tutorial is helpful i wanted to uh, go over some uh, basic usage of the find command i hope uh, this tutorial you know uh, helps you using the find command or understanding the find command and uh, thanks for watching